this is kind of for a few people out there that are PSEC replicators, and they're very close, but just not quite there. So I thought I'd help give them another little nudge. Let me give you the particulars first. Now this obviously will not work for every different configuration and every setup people have. The let me explain the lead length, you know, going up here to the blocks, the size of the blocks, the distance of this lead from the block to the diodes and so forth. Uh, I can't emphasize enough that you're going to have to get familiar with the concept of this because if you try and lay it out exactly like I've got it, you're never going to get there anyway because you can't lay it out exactly like I have it. But anyway, on this particular one, we're running at 22.2 megahertz. I have increased the output to 1.5 volts. Although my blocks now are separated by 4 centimeters, there's very little coupling in here between them. And I've come down here and what I'm doing, you can see the red lead on it right there, and what I'm doing is I'm obtaining additional feedback into the SEC exciter to help itself oscillate. Let's put it that way. What it's doing is acting more or less as a regenerative uh, receiver. We've got a little kick coming off of this plate here in this wide distance with the 1.5 volt in just enough to start the oscillator. This one has only the 10 microfarad filter on it. If you put the 1000 or anything larger than 10 on there, you're going to waste a whole lot of energy trying to charge that thing up sufficiently to kickstart this exciter. Okay, what I've done to get this one to run is I've taken this piece of aluminum. Its position, again, is sensitive. I'm sorry, but these things are position sensitive. Also, it depends upon the size and so forth. But what I've done is taken this piece of aluminum, connected a 1 mega ohm resistor to it. Now, on this particular exciter, this is one of my lab versions, I have sockets down here, and I normally have a capacitor across the tuning capacitor that's soldered in. On these particular boards, those are sockets, and I have removed that bridging capacitor, which allows the frequency to be tuned to a higher range, and off of this aluminum block, I have added another one meg resistor into the base side of that tuning capacitor. What this is actually doing is taking and picking up RF through this block, feeding that RF back down into the base through that one meg resistor, and giving it enough feedback to operate with this very weak signal coming in here from the generator. If you want to see the spectrum, fine. I can show you that one. This right here is the 22.2. And you can see the sidebands down here. And if you look in here, you will see all of this is coming from the exciter. And I can show you that by putting my finger right here on this block, which is the, sex si or the exciter side. You can see it kills those harmonics and reduces the level of the other ones. If I touch over here on the generator side, like that, you see it has very minimal noticeable effect on the exciter side, except you see it does attenuate the signal coming from the generator. Now my pickup into the spectrum analyzers via this antenna, which sits right above the exciter itself. So you see this exciter, there's so much light in here right now, you can't really discern it, but that white lead does have light coming out of it. Not very much, but enough. And of course we have signal coming out of this red lead, so we know that L3 is producing output. So what you have to do is realize that you, you have to kickstart the exciter to get it going, and then if you don't have enough signal, coming in to sustain it, you're going to have to get the proper amount of feedback into it, and no tapping the coil and so forth won't work. You have to pick this up spatially, and that's where this little aluminum block and the one meg resistor comes into. 
and where it's fed back properly into the into the circuit board. So anyway, I hope that helps you fellas get just a little bit farther here. You're pretty close. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, please keep at it.